This game is rated E for everyone. The commentary may not reflect this rating. Hello everyone and welcome back to Stuart Little 2. I'm Nando Graf, let's go into the back alleys. Also, let's try not very hard to get shanked. I know about the back alleys of New York. I actually... Uh, New York? No, New York. New York is an entirely different place. New York, New York. It's a... It's very much... The city where I live in is very much a very... Uh, a smaller New York, I'd say. And it's complete utter hell. Like, after living like for 25 years here, I'm just fine being done with cities. Cities suck. Like, city living, it's easy, but it sucks. Everything just sucks in the city. Like, you can... It's true that there are stores for anything you need everywhere, right? But I I briefly forgot No you don't. I briefly forgot what button was. It's true that there's uh stores for anything you need. It's easy to find stuff. But getting to those stuff like public transit here it's complete ass. Oh, I missed 50 points. Fuck. I didn't see that one until it was too late. You know, compared to the first one, this is a lot harder. Because a lot more bugs come out. I guess I should focus on the bugs and on the balloons later. No, you don't. Also, the sensitivity is really high for some reason. Come on, hit it. We can do it. We can do this. 20 more. And there we go. No, there's, I need five more. Five more, quick. There we go. Go, Stuart. We did it. And everything is easier to find here. But public transport is utter hell. Uh, if you ever, s if you look up a picture of Excellent Sao Paulo uh, subway system, you you'll see what I mean. And the buses are equally as bad. And it's not a safe city. You gotta know where to walk and stuff. It's basically, I guess, like New York. In New York, you gotta know which boroughs you should walk to, which boroughs you can walk at night. You shouldn't walk alone, stuff like that. So it's just uh Oh hey we found the suitcase first again. We have how many lives do we have? Thirteen. Which is frankly fine. Oh, I see. I see. You're clever, huh? Also this level looks Halloweenish for the music. But it looks a lot larger too. We have found two face blocks though. Excellent hunting, Stuart. I, I mash the buttons every time because I want to skip it. And you can actually skip it. I was led to believe you couldn't, but you can. It just takes a while to skip it, that's all. I don't feel like I can kill snails. So I'm not even gonna try. Die ant! Uh, was that a fire ant, by the way? I, I don't know about it. Uh, I think it was too small to be a fire ant. Fire ants are quite a lot bigger. I think I think half of these bugs just don't exist in New York. I'm pretty sure, like, Black Widows is a Midwest thing. And there are no Black Widows in New York. I might be wrong, though. I'm not an expert, I'm not an entomologist, which I think that's what bug experts are called. Oh, there's a, another face block. We're halfway there in regards to face blocks. Still excited as ever. Hate my job. My wife left me. 
Okay, so is, was there some stuff back here though? I do know there are cockroaches in New York. That's uh, quite a big of uh, quite big of a hallmark over there. From what I, there was even a whole movie dedicated to cockroaches called Joe's Apartment. I don't know if I ever watched that. I did. It, it's a god awful movie, and also quite gross. Quite gross. Although I wasn't as grossed out as I should be when I watched it, because I watched it. I watched that movie when I was really young. And I wasn't as grossed out as I should have been, probably. Probably because the cockroaches move very much like the CGI and not real cockroaches. So... That... That helps a lot, actually. With dealing... With the... With the fact that there's, there's just a bunch of... I keep saying cockroaches and... There's a word there! But I'm gonna... Just gonna put that out there. It's not a... It's not a PG-13 word. Actually, it is. Uh, is it? I don't know. I don't know how censor censorship works. I'm not a censor. Fight the system! Yeah! Uh, I haven't seen... If I, if there was any mini games, I, I I completely skipped them because I, I wasn't paying attention so far. To be honest, I was kind of spacing out playing this. No. Nope. Also, I don't think was that a cockroach because it didn't seem like to fly like a cockroach. But I don't know. It's a fly. Is it a velcro fly? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, there's the key. Another face block. Excellent. We have four, we have five already. Found a face block. Damn, son. How do I get to the? Oh, I see. I see how I got to the top there. Let's climb, Stuart. Climb. Yeah, Assassin's Creed wasn't the first game to have parkour, guys. Stuart Little 2 was. It's probably a lie. Probably lying through my teeth. Oh, man. Can we do this, though? Can we do this? In a timely fashion. We're halfway there in biscuits, though. Which is a good sign. Where was the... Oh, I remember what the suitcase was. Never mind. I have to do is take the key to the golden suitcase. What an adventure this is turning out to be. What an adventure. People are dying. That's a lie. People are just losing. Wasn't the wasn't the thing in the movie not that the Falcon was stealing? Jerry, wasn't his thing that he was like Margalo's ex boy abusive ex boyfriend or something? And she was trying to run away from him and Stuart was protecting her? And there was a very weird, a very, very weird romantic subplot between a mouse and a bird. That I don't feel very com comfortable watching, to be entirely honest with you guys. Ugh. Terrifying. But still, wasn't that the plot of the movie, if I remember correctly? It's been a while. It's, like, it's been a very long time since I watched that movie. But I've, I, I believed that to be the case. Uh, I press the wrong button every time. So there's a secret one. There's a cart one, which is right ahead. The snowball one and the face block one. Okay. You'll have to use your car to go down this path, Stuart. You could sound a little more excited. Okay. I probably won't need to break. Actually, this car controls like balls. Okay. I keep missing the time and I I can't spare time for this. Come on. Oh shit. We might be in trouble. This car controls like crap by the way. It controls really really badly. There we go, I grabbed that. If I take my time actually. Which I keep saying I don't have. I actually am quite able, or maybe not. 
to grab these clocks. Can we do it though? Third lap, we can probably do it, yeah. There are two more laps, right? I managed to grab that, I don't know how. This reminds me of, uh, what's the Crash Bandicoot 3? The one that had the jet skis with Coco. It reminds me a lot of that. Although very much shittier. Although, I'm gonna be entirely honest with you, I remember those, the turning radius and that jet ski being complete garbage. I do believe that jet ski also control like crap. Which is, at the end of the day, is fine. The hard thing to do in that game was to get the platinum uh, talismans. And they're very much optional if you want to beat the game, so... Fantastic driving, Stuart. Thank you. For sure. Where did I learn to drive, though? Yes, also, we need to get that card checked, because controls like crap. And... Where are we going right now? Where is that? Oh, God. Okay, there's nothing there. There was only one mini game in this one. Was it? No, there was a bit. Uh, yeah, there was a basketball. A basketball. What the fuck. What am I saying? The balloon one. Both words start with B, okay? Just like your mom. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you will in a few years. Oh, I missed the face block. Yes! I've done it! I've collected enough cat biscuits for Snowbell to trade with Monty for another ring. So we have enough now, cat biscuits. Cat again? And there we go, the last face block, the very last face block. I rock! <laughs> that was the last face block to collect. So now I can travel across them to collect the jeweled ring. Okay. Also, we'll need to push this. We need to push the block real good. Oh, here are the face blocks. So, we just need to get across them to grab another ring. And uh, Would that be the last? No, we still need... Oh, these ones don't move. Although I suppose they're far enough that it's a challenge already. Fuck. Damn it. Why? Why? Also, uh, uh, running and jumping, not a good idea. Not a good idea whatsoever. Because I was pushing down, he dropped down. Wait for the camera, Nardograph. Wait for the camera. I get impatient. The active camera is a little too slow for my taste. I wish there was a way to reset the camera. Like if I do this and I press both L2 and R2. Yes, Stuart. You Ow! Why would you do this to ring. me? What did I do to you? Okay. Can I walk on this? It's just water, okay. It's not deep water even, so... This should be the last of the biscuits. The last of the Mohicans as well, if I remember correctly. But mostly the biscuits. Oh, the clapper is really easy to find. In fact, you cannot miss it. You've collected the clapper board and At least if you're going for all the... All the biscuits. You cannot miss it. You know, I never understood this, like... When a game is licensed from a movie, right? Why do they make the rewards scenes from the movie? If I wanted to watch the movie, I buy the goddamn movie, you know? You know what? Die. If I wanted to watch a movie, I go watch a movie, you know? We got everything. What else am I missing? Oh, this is the secret ring. I'm gonna guess. We have to work really hard for it, apparently. Also, I... 
I totally do not remember where the ball is, so I see you guys there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Easy enough. Well, it's actually right... This is a very circular level. The first one is really the only level that I say is the weakest. But that might be because I wasn't used to how the levels worked. You'll have to visit Snowbell and hmm. do I Yes, yes, I actually do. Let's save. We're almost done. I think there are two, maybe, more levels. We just did the back. Yeah, two more levels. Garbage Barge and Falcon Boss. So I guess I'll see you guys on the next part. On the flip side, bye-bye.